how to properly power your paddleboard with the new Canvas Power by Warus Audio. How to place it in your paddleboard, because there are different ways intrusive, not intrusive, but the most important thing is that you can use the canvas power with your own power supply. So if you already have a power supply and you want to use your power supply, but you want to expand the possibility to power different pedals, well, you can do that because these are linkable. Let's find out together. Hi guys, I'm Mystix, Audio Video Production. Today I'm gonna talk about the new canvas power by Warlos Audio. Power supply really well made for pedal boards and especially well made for combination with pedal train. But of course you can use with whatever kind of pedal board you want. So in this video I'll try to help you to decide which kind of power supply is better for you. So depending on the size, you can decide one or the other and depending also if you want the linkable version or not linkable version. And of course, we will find out how to place in a pedal board. So let's start opening one of these power supply because in my opinion is also really cool to see the packaging because it's really well made. So this is the Canvas Power 15, as you can see is written here on the back. And you can purchase the version linkable, so the link version, or the not link version. With the link version, you don't receive the power supply because you have to use another power supply and you can save money with the link version. So let's open it. And of course, we have here the power supply. This is really cool, really well made, as you can see. It's low profile, so fits in whatever kind of paddleboard. And uh, this is the 15 version. So as you can see, we have 13 different 9 volt, 500 million pairs. Really a lot to power whatever kind of pedals. And two separated outputs that you can decide if you want to use with this switch, 9 volts, 12 volts or 18 volts. And as you can see, we have here also the USB-C. So you can power 5 volts, 1.5 ampere, whatever kind of device with USB port. So for example, your new iPhone 15 or whatever kind of Android. And this is really cool for people that use hybrid pedals. So for example, with real uh, pedals, analog pedals, and you have also, for example, on iPad or on your phone, uh, bias effects, I can multimedia tone X, so sort of plugins, you can combine this and this is really cool because with one power supply, you can power all your pedal and also your smartphone or iPad device. Really cool thing is that here you have this 24 volt through. So this is the linkable power for other power supply. And I'll talk to you in a moment. Let's also see what we have inside the box. So here, as you can see, is really well made this packaging. Here we have a lot of things moreover. So we have all the cables, all the connections. So here we have the link cable, which is totally different than a normal cable. So this is to link different power supply and I'll talk to you in a moment. These are the brackets and are L shape because you can mount the power supply in different way. This is the L shape and I'll talk to you in a moment. And then you have lots of cables inside for your pedals. Different size, for example, these are shorter, these are longer and you can plug your pedal board. So depending on the pedal board, that you have, depending on the amount of pedals you want to use, you can decide to have a pedal board like this one. This is the Pedal Train uh, Classic Junior, and as you can see, it is tilted, and I have a lot of space under my pedal board. So you can place the Warlos Audio Canvas Power under your pedal board in this way, and as you can see, you have a lot of space because it's tilted and there is no any problem. There are three ways on how you can place the canvas power. One is super intrusive. The second is non-intrusive and the third is non-intrusive, half intrusive, but let me say not intrusive. So the first method is to use the provided L brackets. So these are well made to fit here under your canvas power. You have this 
holes for the screws, you have also these, these screws inside, and you can place, for example, this, whatever you want, for example, here on the edge, and I can place here a, a, a screw, and you can place the power like this, for example, so you can drill here, and this is intrusive, because you have to make a hole in your paddleboard. I don't like this metal because I prefer to have everything clean and I don't want to ruin also the look of my paddleboard. So there is another method and this is the method that I used for long time before I started to use pedal train and was basically using the velcro behind your power supply. So usually I used power supply on my paddleboard, so you can use the velcro like this. You can also use velcro behind, but in my opinion can also not handle too much on the back with velcro. Anyway, the problem is that you are taking too much space in your paddleboard if you use the power supply on your paddleboard. So maybe it's better to have a very clean all surface for only your paddle. So the last way is the best way in my opinion, and is the way that you can use with the power supply canvas power, because inside I provided the C brackets, not the L brackets. You can also see on the website of Power Canvas, Canvas Power. So let me show you, here I have this pedal train soft bag, and inside I've already my pedal train nano, as you can see. And this basically is already populated with pedals, as you can see. This is a spoiler, because I'll use this paddleboard for the upcoming video about paddleboards that I'm doing this new series. So if you are interested, see the already two videos I made. This is the new paddleboard that I use in the third video. I've used this Warus Audio Mako M1, which I'll use this in stereo to have a lot of cool effects. This is an old pedal, is a phaser, really, really cool. And this new pedal would be the heart of my pedalboard, the Medici Fuzz by Dofix. And in front, I'll use an MXR EQ to sculpt the sound of my DI. As you can see, this is the Pedal Train Nano and is very, very low profile. But inside, so behind this pedalboard, I have a canvas power. There is the canvas power version 8, as you can see. So I'm powering all the pedalboard and is fitted behind without any problem and stay lowered. So as you can see, is inside the pedalboard without any problem because they are really, really low profile, as you can see. And I'm power. Uh, three pedals that are 9 volts, these three pedals are 9 volts, while this is 18 volts. There is no any problem because I have the dedicated power here. So as you can see, I'm using these C brackets and I can also show you with my tool that if you use Allen wrench tool, you can unscrew here a bit and here a bit. Okay, and you can take off. And this is really cool because I've not made any drill in my pedal train because these are infinite screws and are flat, only to keep really, really sturdy my power supply. So really cool, you can decide where you want to um, position your power supply and you can unscrew a bit just to take it sturdy and that's it. So this is the non-intrusive way and this is the best way, in my opinion, to fit your power supply under any kind of paddleboard. I say any kind because as you can see this is very very low profile and this is one of the best power supply you can use to fit a paddleboard very very low and there is no any problem as you can see. So really really cool. Now let's talk about the link. What is this link? Let me think about you have for example a power supply that you are using for your paddleboard, but maybe are only four and you already have power all your pedals and you need to power other pedals because you are expanding your paddleboard. Well, you don't need to purchase another power supply, okay? You just need to use linkable power supply. Each kind of canvas power can be purchased in a linkable mode, so you will not receive the power supply of the canvas power, but you will receive the link cable. Let me show you how to use it. For example, 
this is your first power supply, okay? You have purchased a power supply and this is an Canvas Power 8, but you can use also your own power. You can place it here on the 24 through plug, okay? And then you can go to another Canvas Power to power your power supply. Okay, now of course you have to power one of the two power supply because you will bring the 24 volts power on the other kind of power supply. So this is the power supply of the power eight. I can power it and as you can see is all lights up. All my pedal board is lights up as you can see. Also my pedals in 18 volts. And here is also powering another power supply without the dedicated power supply. So I can use, for example, one of the provided cables. And as you can see, I have here the Warus Audio Iron Horse, really cool pedal. I can power 9 volts, of course, my pedal. Okay, really, really easy. So you can create your pedal board with expandable power supply in a really clean way with only one power supply so you don't need other power supply lots of cables around your pedal boards really really easy you can use the canvas power together with your own power supply doesn't matter if it's not a canvas power whatever kind of power supply you have the most important thing is that the power supply should be 24 volts because otherwise it's really difficult to bring 24 volts to your power supply okay so so it has to be 24 volt input so again you have different kind of sizes about canvas power canvas power 8 canvas power 5 canvas power 15 22 you have the version with power supply or the version with the link if you already have a power supply if you want to use your power supply if it's good enough and the most important thing is the low profile you can place the canvas power in whatever kind of paddleboard three way to place the canvas power with velcro with non-intrusive c brackets or with intrusive l brackets so guys you have the link in the description if you want to know more about Warus audio canvas power and moreover, also about Palabos pedal train because they fit really well on pedal train. So let me know what you think about, and I'll see you in the next video.